Time now for the morning rush. Students in Berlin now calling on the state to let them play. The district will go into hybrid learning on March 22nd, but that means students will miss half of the season. Last night, student athletes protested, saying they want to go back to school now or they want the state to separate hybrid learning from athletics. The Biden administration will not be letting states cancel standardized testing. The Department of Education says while states cannot cancel tests, they can be postponed until the fall. PED says that they are optimistic that the, op the waiver will be approved. The Biden policy is a reversal from the Trump administration, which allowed districts to cancel the standardized testing last year. Bring it down. Some state lawmakers calling for the removal of fencing around the Roundhouse. The fencing was put up following the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol, but with no incidents in Santa Fe. Senate Republican leader Greg Baca says the fencing should come down because it's expensive. Democrats have not responded. And with the winter storm moving in tonight through tomorrow, we will see some snow in the northern mountains, but it will be minimal, up to around an inch for some of the lower elevations to the north and northwest. We'll see about one to three possible for the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, with locally higher amounts to five inches for some spots very far to the north. New Mexicans may soon be able to get alcohol delivered right to their front door. House Bill 225 lets customers have a limited amount of beer or wine delivered with the purchase of a meal, but those restaurants would have to close by 10 p.m. The bill passed with bipartisan support in the House, and now it heads to the Senate. Division is growing surrounding House Bill 283, calling for films that are inappropriate for kids under 17 to not qualify for the state's film tax credits. Supporters of the bill say explicit movies are just a fraction of the films made here. However, the state's film office says this bill could push lawmakers away from our state. Scientists here in New Mexico are tracking how the COVID-19 virus mutates and how fast it spreads. The modeling team at Los Alamos National Lab provides data to the government, which helps form the public policy. They also predict that how reopenings can impact viral spread. They say that the high death rate for COVID and the prevalence of asymptomatic carriers makes this pandemic challenging to predict. And here's a look at the Metro Threat Index for today. It's going to be very low. We will have some chilly temperatures this morning and an afternoon breeze up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour. On to breaking news now. An FDA analysis of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine found it to be effective in preventing moderate to severe COVID-19 cases. In two days, a panel of independent advisors will debate on if the shot should be approved. The company says if it is approved, it will be able to provide 100 million doses to the U.S. by the summer. State health officials are explaining how an APS teacher was able to jump the line to get both COVID-19 vaccine doses. Janae Wilson is in her 20s with no underlying conditions. Right now, only people 75 and older and at-risk adults are eligible. Well, officials say that it was not made clear when the guidelines were first released, so providers began vaccinating people in the next group. Happening today, Congresswoman Deb Holland. She continues her confirmation hearing for Secretary of the Interior. If confirmed, Holland would be in charge of one-fifth of the land in the U.S. Yesterday, senators questioned Holland on Biden's moratorium on new oil and gas leases on public lands. Holland says it's only a pause while the administration reviews the program. City and county officials are teaming up to finish construction on New Mexico United's field. The championship soccer field at the Mesa del Sol Regional Sports Complex will be a practice and scrimmage facility. Well, that field is finished, but county commissioners and city officials are working together to build other facilities. The city will pay $3.5 million, and the county will pay the rest. We're looking ahead for you this morning. Those in the schools will be getting help with remote learning thanks to a grant from Facebook. Facebook awarded more than $59,000 to the district. The money will help buy a license free program to help educators create unique and interactive lessons. Teachers will be able to use virtual reality lessons and even teach using 3D technology. Santa Fe police are asking for help this morning in their search for a suspect in a string of school vandalisms. Police say that five Santa Fe public schools have been broken into and vandalized since last Thursday. They're asking for help identifying the suspect who they say appears to be a young man. If you have any information, you're asked to call Santa Fe police. UNM says that the amount of items being recycled on campus has not changed in 30 years. Five to 600 tons of recycled materials are brought in annually from UNM campus. John Shasky with the UNM Recycling says that there is some confusion about what can or cannot be recycled in the future. The department plans to get more people thinking about what goes into those blue bins. Now let's get a look at that morning drive. On the maps, we're looking all green, no accidents or slowdowns to report, so it should be an easy drive. And we have the sun coming up over the metro. It's going to be a nice day for us in Albuquerque.
thousands of sea turtles now back in the Gulf this morning after last week's deadly winter storm in Texas. More than 5,300 turtles were rescued after they became shocked by the temperature drop in the water. Groups ranging from biologists, volunteers, and the U.S. Coast Guard all pitching in to bring them back to safety. Welcome back, everyone. Time for the five facts. We start with number five here. City and county officials are teaming up to finish construction on the New Mexico United's practice field. The championship soccer field at the Mesa del Sol Regional Sports Complex will be a practice and scrimmage facility. The field is finished, but county commissioners and city officials are working to build the locker room, restrooms, and other facilities. The city will pay three and a half million dollars, and the county will pay for the rest. The complex will be managed by the city. And number four, a change in recycling is coming at UNM. In the future, the UNM Recycling Department plans to partner with different programs in the school to get more people to think about what goes into the blue bins. Well, the goal is to eliminate items that people put in the bins, hoping that they can be recycled, but ends up ruining the batch and then sending it to the landfill instead. UNM says that there are collection points all throughout campus. And at number three, we have an incoming storm. It'll arrive tonight, starting to bring some light snow to the northern mountains. By tomorrow morning, there's a chance for some fog and freezing drizzle, along with an east canyon wind around the Sandia Manzanos. And by tomorrow afternoon, snow in the mountains and mix and rain for the lower elevations. On to number at, two. Oh, sorry. At number two, some state lawmakers want the fencing around the roundhouse taken down, saying that it's a waste of taxpayer money. It was an extra security measure installed in January. It was after the riots at the U.S. Capitol. Well, Senate Republican leader Greg Baca says that the police resources used to guard the roundhouse could be used in other parts of the state where they are needed. State police tells us that there are 56 state police officers assigned to work there in rotating shifts. Back in 2019, there were 45 officers assigned for the 60-day session. Okay, now my turn. Number one, the Valencia School District is now protesting, calling on the Public Education Department to separate hybrid learning and sports. A few weeks ago, the board decided to bring back middle and high school students on March 22nd, but the adjusted NMAA calendar has already begun, and students are going to be missing half of the season. Last night, student athletes protested outside of the school's administration building during a re-entry meeting. The superintendent says if the PED did separate sports and hybrid learning, but when athletes would be able to participate. If you want more details on this, go to our website. That's always on krqe.com.